okay so uh now coming to uh visual builder projects so yesterday also we have seen um um some project overview so it's a container that holds everything that is uh, relevant uh, to extend the application like authorization so who needs uh, who, who can make the changes so we will manage this in team members uh, storage to to store all the code changes that we do uh, it will be stored in git repository environment uh, so to which environment we need to connect um, and then we can make the changes mm -hmm. so that uh, we will we will also use the environment ones mm -hmm. jobs uh, to package the extensions and to do the deployments so we use this jobs workspaces so these are like uh, sandboxes uh, so it's not exactly sandbox but we can just compare uh, it's a some playground where we can take the copy of the uh, the main code and then we can work and then push the changes to the main main line mm -hmm. So now, so we will see the, so this is the, the first uh, flow, right? Is with mm -hmm. sandbox and in mm -hmm. Oracle Fusion Cloud. So we use application mm -hmm. composer and sandbox, right? To publish any changes. Mm -hmm. So suppose we create one mm -hmm. sandbox and then we make some changes mm -hmm. and then we will publish these changes to mainline. Mm -hmm. So now if second sandbox or second user will create another sandbox and he can make changes mm -hmm. and if he don't want to publish, he can re he can uh, just uh, delete that sandbox or just keep it in, uh, in non-publishable mode. So these changes, right, is not into mainline. So if some other person creates sandbox, so it will consider only the first sand, uh, sandbox changes and the mainline changes. So he, the third sandbox in third sandbox, right? So they can include their own changes and then he can publish the changes to mainline. So this is how the flow in Oracle Fusion application cloud with sandbox and uh, some other tools like application composer. In VBCS, in v, uh, in sorry in VBS Visual Builder Studio, we have uh, the repository. We will have the Git repository. Suppose this is the name. Just consider. Uh, so we will have main branch, and user one will create a uh, one workspace, and with his own branch. So from main, it will take a copy and it will create a own branch. And in this branch, user will make his changes and he will push the changes to main, main branch. And user two, he can also create uh, his own branch and he can work. And if you don't want to push these changes to mainline, he can just uh, he can just uh, not publish. And third user, uh, so he can also create his own branch. And now in this case, these changes will be available for, for the third user in this branch. And these changes, uh, we can all we, we can push. So this is how just we can compare the how how uh, we can just relate sandbox and workspace uh, in VBS. So now 
this diagram helps uh, to understand uh, the how git repository and branching will work so we will have the git repository and uh, all the code uh, will be uh, in in main branch that is the main uh, or live live code so it will be in main branch so when a user creates workspace, he will also create a branch and it will be, and, and this, this branch will be in remote, uh, remote copy. So usually we will have a remote copy and local copy. So in remote copy, so this branch will be there. But if you want to make any changes to this remote copy, so uh, we can't. So that's why we, so it there will be a local copy. So any changes uh, we have done, so that will be, first we need to, uh, we need to, we need to push into local and then from local to remote. So suppose, uh, if we do any changes uh, in the visual builder instance so first it will be it will go to uncommitted uh, changes okay so these changes uh, we need to we need to move to local copy by using command uh, git command uh, commit so from uncommitted changes to local copy so we will use commit so that these changes will be available in the local copy. If you want to revert uh, these changes, right? Uh, so you can use reset to head git, op uh, git operation to revert uh, any changes to uh, the uh, uncommitted changes. If we want to just uh, make these changes to uncommitted state just to, uh, to revert to revert any unwanted changes to previous state so you can use reset to head and once you have the changes in the local copy uh, so you need to push these changes to remote copy by using push com So now, uh, so in, in remote copy, so other users will also do their changes uh, in their own branches. Suppose if another user publishes some changes to a uh, remote, remote copy. So we wanted to take those changes or we wanted to sync those changes from remote copy. So in that case, we can use this pull request, pull operation. Uh, to sync remote changes to local copy. And then uh, we can, uh, so then it will be synced. So basically it's just a refresh uh, to sync. Then, then uh, once we push these changes to remote copy, right? So then we will do a merge request from remote to main. So that is nothing but publish. So once we click on publish, so it will be merged from remote copy to main branch. So then it will be available for all the users. 